Hey man, say man, back at y'all again today, man, with another video. Today I'm still here in Hotel Kinabalu in South Malaysia, and we are going island hopping. So let's go ahead and get over to Jesselton Point Ferry Terminal and hop this ferry. So ferry services run every 15 minutes, and returning from the island, they run every hour. The last service on the return will be 4 p.m. All right, guys. So I finally have arrived to the ticketing bar here. And it actually is kind of crazy. All right, guys. So we finally got our ticket. One island is yeah, no problem. One island is 35 ringgit, up to four islands being 65 ringgit. So today we are trying to get back up. All right, guys. So once you book your ticket from that side, you then have to come back over to this side. And I guess my courier is going to be Sunny Rainbow Tour. Hey, guys. So we finally got everything secured. Now got the ticket, got the separate registration, and now we are heading out to figure out where exactly we need to go to get on the boat. Pretty cool. Definitely a lot of different businesses to eat. Definitely a lot of places to. Spend money, relax before you get on and head to the island. Alrighty, guys, so after you get your ticket, you are brought here to the pier. It should be a fun journey. Don't really know what to expect. I didn't do too much research. All I know is that we got a boat here and uh, it should be leaving here in like four minutes. It's already 10.50, was in line at 9 a.m. Oh man, not the best experience. So we are finally able to get on a boat here guys let's see how long of a journey it's going to be to get to gaia from here want to say hi to the vlog that way you will see yourself <laughs> Guys, we are here at the Dang Point now. It's only a quick transfer from Sapi Beach, and now we are here. The water is nice, definitely super shallow right here off on the first docks. Uh, and not something I was aware of, but no drones allowed without a permit, anyway. So keep that in mind. About 10 o'clock, and now finally arriving. It is 11:45, but we are here in Gaia at the Dang Point. So here you can see we are at Gaia Island right here at Base Camp Beach, it does look like. These are the other three islands you can access with that tour and then there is Kota Kinabalu where we depart from. Right guys, now let's go ahead and start to explore. So here where you get dropped off, you are greeted by immediate beach access which is honestly pretty beautiful. You got a walkway here, you have Padang Point Restaurant immediately on the side as well of course avoid the wildlife and coral reefs definitely glad that i made this trek all right now it is time to go see what there is to offer in gaia island so this is definitely one beautiful rainforest guys going to be one heck of a trek Definitely take your time and be sure of your footing here when you are doing this trek. Super easy to slip and fall and you don't want to end up down there. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the first camp. Here's what it's looking like here. but. We don't have much time, so we're not sticking around. We just wanted to show you what it looks like. Now here, there are two trails 
So you have police beach this way, and then here on this sign you have another one. Let's see what that's about. Okay, so we have went to 0.7 kilometers so far. I think I think we'll go to the park headquarters because to be quite honest, I don't think we have time for police beach just because now what a beautiful trek this really is. I'm sure that I look rough because it's pretty physically demanding. I can't lie to you. But we are here at 950 meter mark and we are getting very close to completing our first kilometer of the trek, which is pretty satisfying. And I can't wait to see what the base camp here at the other side of the island is going to look like. very very slippery too guys keep that in mind all the fallen leaves make this hike super super slippery so please if you're out here be careful what a nice bridge here guys wow let's check it out now in high tide or a flood this would be pretty concerning we're going to stick to uh the support beams as well because you can tell there are many areas where it has already been broken and fallen through here so yeah guys check that out pretty little jungle experience yeah guys this is by far the most rewarding hike that I have done here in Malaysia but like I'm saying guys be careful this is this is the pathway so you fall, you end up in the water. But man, that being said, took off the hat for a few pictures earlier and just leaving it off. Man, guys, check that out. Check that out. Let's keep it pushing. Definitely super slippery, guys. Do everything you can to not fall. Whew. Yes, sir. Don't want anything happening when you're on a hike like this. Alrighty. And back uphill we go. One more time. One more time. What a hike, guys. Hopefully we make it there soon because need to give myself adequate time to make it back. Right as I say that, we come up on this sign. Park headquarters, only 0.1 of a kilometer. Sweet, man. Almost there. I'm starting to see daylight. I think we have made it. There's where we came from, Padang Point. And then here is another pathway, which is Base Camp to Viewpoint. All right, let's check out what we have made it to on the first leg of today's trek. Ah. Opens up immediately into some beautiful water a couple boats stuck here a really peaceful beach made it to the base camp of the Tankul Abdul Rahman Park what a fun little trick ah yeah, here's a sign for base camp here we'll go onto the dock a little bit and take a picture from there What a nice trick, man. What a nice trick. Check that out. Nice view of the beach here. All right, guys, now it is about 1251. 
So we are on our way back now to base camp and then we will go ahead and head on back to Padang Point. Because we don't want to get too late. We don't want to miss that last boat ride back home. Now this is a campsite, I'm not entirely sure how you camp, but if you guys are interested in it, that is something that would be pretty, pretty interesting to find out. And so it begins, the dangerous trek back to Padang Point. Back to Padang Point. Is that another hermit crab? That is, dude, so many hermit crabs over here, that's crazy. They're loving this trail, man. This little hermit crab got major beef with me, bro. Major. All right, buddy. All right, guys, after the quick hermit crab detour, we're back on the way. Check out this one. This one is huge, man. Compared to those other little guys, that pincher would definitely hurt. Less than two kilometers to go. Pretty soon, I know we will be coming up on that bridge. Pretty awesome, man. I'm gonna take some pictures right here. Give me just a minute, guys. All right, and we continue on. If it can hold me, it should be able to hold you too. We are on the home stretch now, guys. Literally half a kilometer to go, and then we're back to the pickup point for the ferry. 15, 20 minutes, we'll be back down. All right, off in the distance. Not sure if you can see it, but guys, we are finally making it back. One heck of a trek, and uh, that's exactly what that was. So we made it back here to the pickup point now. Got me a nice 1.5 liter bottle of water. And here's the view until it is time to leave. I mean, it's better to be ahead of schedule for something like this than to be behind. We have came, we have saw, we have conquered the dang point right here on Gaia Island. It was a pretty awesome experience. Overall, the hike to base camp took me about three hours round trip. So keep that in mind, guys. Book yourself some time to hike and enjoy your time here on Gaia Island. All right, guys, well, we are on the boat now on the way back to Kota Kinabalu from Gaia Island. And we have made it, guys. Pretty fun little day trip to Gaia Island. Okay. And just like that, thank you, bro. We are back to Kota Kinabalu. Thanks for watching my exploration of Gaia Island here in Kota Kinabalu, Malaysia. Until next time, I'll be out this thing. Peace.